Respected fathers, staff, students, parents, alumni, collaborators, well-wishers, and the chief guest of the day, Sri M. V. Srinivasigaru. A very good morning to you all. A warm welcome to you all to this virtual feast day commemoration of St. Ignatius of Loyola, the founder of Society of Jesus, popularly known as Jesuits. The pandemic does not allow us to physically gather to observe this feast, but thanks to technology that we are connected as one Loyola family and be present to one another in virtual celebration. Happy Feast of St. Ignatius of Loyola. For those of us who are less familiar with St. Ignatius' life, Ignatius, originally named as Inigo Lopez de Loyola, came from a noble family based at the castle of Loyola in the Basque region of Spain. He initially followed the kind of military and courtly career that was conventional for a man of his social status. Up to his 26th year, the heart of Ignatius was enthralled by the vanities of the world. His special delight was in the military life, and he was led by a strong an empty desire of gaining for himself a great name. This career ended when Ignatius was wounded while defending Pampelona against the French army in 1521. He then underwent a religious conversion while recovering at his family castle Loyola. He subsequently lived as a hermit, became a mystic, educated himself as a scholar, founded and served as the superior general of Society of Jesus, and finally lives on as a saint and inspiration to many, even today. How fortunate are we to be part of this global Loyola fraternity, having 500 years of history and the transformational impact on this world. Dear friends, come today, let us know more deeply the man Ignatius and draw inspiration from his life and his society. Come, let us celebrate. St. Ignatius says, act as if everything depended on you. Trust as if everything depended on God. He also says, undertake nothing without consulting God. Placing our trust in God, we now commence this virtual feast day celebration, seeking God's blessings through a prayer song. As the song is sung, I invite our dear fathers to pay respects to St. Ignatius and seek his intercession for us all. Oh, 
Thank you dear fathers for your prayers and doing the honors. Saint Ignatius says, He who carries God in his heart bears heaven with him wherever he goes. I now invite Reverend Father Dr. Sahiraj, correspondent Andhra Loyola College to give us his grace-filled greetings and blessings. Dear fathers and my dear beloved teaching, non-teaching staff members and the parents and also the Old Boys Association members and Alka Trust Society members and my dear young students. Today it gives me immense pleasure to wish you on the feast day of Saint Ignatius a great fruitful feast of Ignatius to all of you. Today all over the world over 19,000 Jesuits will be celebrating the feast of Saint Ignatius. It gives a real joy that 500 years ago he gathered together seven young men and started a small group of committed men to serve the mankind. Those Ignatius companions, seven of them, every one of them was very great and Ignatius was truly a companion at the same time a great leader leading them in spiritual life. Ignatius was never satisfied with what he was doing. He was always looking forward to do something better and greater. And he asked two questions in his life. If Francis can do something, why can't I? If Dominic could do something, why can't I do? That was his nature, that he wanted to do something always better and better and greater and greater. Today, when we celebrate the feast of St. Ignatius, let us have the spirit of Ignatius and Ignatius may imbibe in us true spirit of love and service to mankind at this time of pandemic times. Let us keep up the values and ideals of St. Ignatius so that we may become more and more human to the other human beings. Let me wish you a great feast of St. Ignatius. May Ignatius intercede for all of us that we may make men and women for others in this universe. Thank you one and all. God bless you. Dear Father, thanks a million for your greetings and blessings. Thank you for inviting us to become men and women for others. St. Ignatius says, He who goes about to reform the world must begin with himself or he loses his labor. May I now call upon Reverend Father Dr. G. A. P. Kishore, the principal Andhra Loyola College, to extend his greetings. Andhra Loyola Kalashala Stapana Lo Palu Panchukonina Anati Yes of Guru Vulaku Sahaya Sakar Alanu and Ninchina Datala Kutumba Subjulara Porva Prostuta Adjapaka Adjapaketara Brunda 
సభ్యులారా పూర్వ ప్రస్తుత విద్యార్థులారా శ్రేయోభిలాషులారా ఆంధ్ర లయోలా కళాశాల పాలక పునీతులు పునీత ఇగ్నేషస్ లయోలా ఈయనే ఈ కళాశాలను నడుపుతున్న యేసు సభను స్థాపించినటువంటి కర్మయోగి ఇగ్నేషస్ తన జీవితం మొదటి ముప్పై సంవత్సరాలు కేవలం ప్రాపంచిక వ్యక్తిగా ఈ లోకంలో జీవించాడు తనకు తానే ముఖ్యమయ్యాడు ఏ పని చేసినప్పటికీ కూడా ఏది మాట్లాడినప్పటికీ కూడా తనకు ఏ విధంగా గౌరవ మర్యాదలు చేకూరుతాయో అదే విధంగా మాట్లాడటానికి పని చేయటానికి ప్రయత్నించాడు తన జీవితానికి తానే కేంద్ర బిందువయ్యాడు కానీ దేవుని లీలలు మనకు అర్థం కావు సైనికుడిగా జీవిస్తున్న ఈ వ్యక్తి తన ముప్పై అవయేట ఒక పిరంగి గుండు తన మోకాలని బలంగా తాకటం కారణంగా యుద్ధంలో తీవ్రంగా గాయపడ్డాడు అటువంటి సందర్భంలో దేవుని వైపు తన మనసును మళ్లించాడు అప్పటి నుంచి పరివర్తనం చెందాడు తన ముప్పై సంవత్సరాల వయసు వరకు తన కోసమే జీవించినటువంటి ఇగ్నేషస్ లయోల అప్పటి నుంచి ఇతరుల కోసం పరుల కోసం దేవుని కోసం జీవించటం మొదలుపెట్టాడు ఈ అద్భుత సంఘటన జరిగి ఈ సంవత్సరానికి ఐదు వందల సంవత్సరాలు పూర్తయ్యాయి మే ఇరవై పదిహేను వందల ఇరవై ఒకటవ సంవత్సరంలో ఆయన గాయపడ్డాడు అది జరిగి ఇప్పటికి ఐదు వందల సంవత్సరాలు పూర్తయ్యాయి ఆంధ్ర లయోలాతో అనుబంధం ఉన్నటువంటి అందరికీ తెలిసిన విషయం జూలై ముప్పై ఒకటి రాగానే ఆయనను స్మరించుకుంటూ ఆ రోజును పండుగగా జరుపుకుంటూ ఉంటాం ఈ సంవత్సరం రాబోతున్నటువంటి జూలై ముప్పై ఒకటి ఐదు వందల సంవత్సరాలు పూర్తయినటువంటి అద్భుతమైనటువంటి సంవత్సరం కాబట్టి ఇగ్నేష జీవితంలో చోటు చేసుకున్నటువంటి ఈ పరివర్తనమే మనందరి జీవితాలలో కూడా చోటు చేసుకోవాలని ముఖ్యంగా అవసరమైన వాళ్ళ జీవితాలలో ఇప్పటి వరకు మనం ఒకవేళ మన కోసం మాత్రమే జీవిస్తూ ఉన్నట్లయితే ఇతరుల కోసం కూడా జీవించడం మొదలు పెట్టడం ప్రారంభించాలి అని ఆ భగవంతుణ్ణి మనందరి కొరకు ప్రార్థిస్తున్నాను మనందరము లయోలా విద్యార్థులుగా అధ్యాపకులుగా సిబ్బందిగా లయోలా సంస్థల్లో తమ పిల్లలను చదివించినటువంటి తల్లిదండ్రులుగా ఈ సంస్థను స్థాపించటంలో పాలు పంచుకున్నటువంటి కర్మయోగులుగా పునీత ఇగ్నేషస్ లయోలాను స్మరించుకుంటున్న ఈ శుభ సందర్భంలో మీ అందరికీ కూడా పండుగ శుభాకాంక్షలు ధన్యవాదాలు డియర్ ఫాదర్ కిషోర్ వి గ్రేట్ఫుల్లీ అక్నాలెడ్జ్ యువర్ గ్రీటింగ్స్ బ్లెస్సింగ్స్ అన్ ఎన్కరేజింగ్ వర్డ్స్ పర్టికులర్లీ కాలింగ్ అస్ టు గో త్రూ పర్సనల్ కన్వర్షన్ అండ్ బీ అదర్ సెంటర్డ్ St. Ignatius says, The closer we draw to God, the better disposed we are to receive the gifts of His divine bounty. 
Here comes Reverend Father Dr. Francis Xavier, Director, Andhra Loyola Institute of Engineering and Technology, to greet us and bless us. My dear students, staff members, parents, alumni, and well-wishers of Andhra Loyola Institute of Engineering and Technology, I wish each one of you on the occasion of the Feast of St. Ignatius of Loyola, our feast day greetings. My dear friends, here is a saint who became an educated man, an erudite man already in the years 1500s. He studied in the University of Sorbonne. Even today, in that university, when we go to the underground railway station, the prominent students of that university signatures are found on the railway station walls. And there prominently, of course, figures the signature of St. Ignatius of Loyola. That shows how important St. Ignatius is. On this occasion, I wish you all a very, very good, meaningful feast day celebration and also meaningful feast day remembrance of this great man. Gandhi said, we should become men of change. Change has to begin with us. And that is what, of course, brought by St. Ignatius of Loyola. Therefore, we become also, once again, in the name of St. Ignatius of Loyola, men and women of change for us and also for the world. Thank you very much and happy feast. Thank you very much, Father. Your greetings, best wishes and blessings warmed our hearts. We deeply appreciate it. St. Ignatius says, to conquer oneself is the greatest victory that one can gain. Our dear brothers from Sanjeev Nivas are coming to unfold God's guiding hand in the life of St. Ignatius in the Society of Jesus globally and in Andhra Jesuit province through a short play. Most of us present can be students, teaching or non-teaching staff or alumni. Have you ever given a thought why our institutions are named as Loyola institutions? After whom are they named? Who is this Loyola? Well, if you are thinking it is the name of a person, I'm afraid you are wrong. Loyola is the name of a family in Spain from where comes the great man Inigo Lopez de Loyola or simply Ignatius of Loyola, the founder of the religious order, the Society of Jesus. All the fathers we see in the campus are the loyal members of this humble order. Every year on 31st July, we commemorate the heavenly birthday of St. Ignatius, whose life has been a source of inspiration down the centuries. The period of his conversion began way back in 1520 with the War of Pamplona. A cannonball shattered his dreams of becoming a knight, breaking his right leg and leaving him bedridden. It is the scene of his conversion. How do you feel, Inigo? Better, Magdalene. I feel pain in my knee. Everything will be alright. Take care of yourself. Yes. If you need anything, do not hesitate to ask me. Magdalene, can I have some books, please? I am really feeling very bored and lonely here. Of course. I shall get those for you. Yes. Inigo, here are the books for you. Have a good day. Imitations of Christ, Life of Saints. What am I to do with these books? I want books of romance, books of chivalry. Bloody imitations of Christ. 
I could find only these two books in Igo. I can't help you. Fine, please leave me alone. How did my life become so miserable like this? I wanted to become the world's greatest warrior. Inigo was the youngest of 13 children born into a wealthy family of Loyola's Basque Country, Spain. His parents were Don Beltran and Dona Marina. He was brought up by his second eldest brother Martin in the castle of Loyola. He framed his life around the stories of Echid, the Knights of Camelot, and the Song of Roland and the other tales of romantic chivalry. Inigo was keen on military exercises and was driven by a desire for fame. He wanted to marry Queen Isabella. Servant of the court Inigo Lopez de Loyola is arriving the castle. Oh people of Spain, the French are awaiting to defeat us. Guard your loins and get ready for the war. Let the enemy be down. Long live Spain. Long live Spain. Long live Spain. Long live Spain. Hail Inigo. Hail Inigo. Soldiers, are you ready for the battle? Yes, master. Come, let us defeat the Spaniards. Yes. <laughs> Inigo, how do you feel now? I feel pain in my knee, doctor. My leg is broken. I could feel my bones protruding outside. Please do something, doctor. Please operate my leg. Please set right my knee. Inigo, it will be very painful. to do the operation doctor i will take any amount of pain to get into war again i need to fight for my country please please operate my leg okay then i'll do my job yes. nurse get the surgical doctor okay then take it
Ignatius, having nothing to do, began to read the life of saints and the imitations of Christ. He was filled with bliss and great joy, which he had never felt before. He too felt a great desire and zeal to serve God as the other saints did. He questioned himself. If St. Francis can, why can't I? If St. Dominic can, why can't I? With a burning desire, Ignatius left the castle of Loyola and went to Montserrat, a place of pilgrimage in northeastern Spain. He spent three days in confessing the sins of his whole life, hung his sword and dagger near the statue of the Virgin Mary as symbols of his abandoned ambitions and clothed in sackcloth. Inigo settles down himself at Manresa where he prays intensely and gets immersed in writing spiritual exercises and the constitutions of the society. Ignatius then establishes the Society of Jesus in 1540 with his seven companions. On August 15, 1534, he led the little band to Montmartre where they bound themselves by vows of poverty, chastity and obedience. Ignatius and his companions were ordained on June 24, 1537. Now that same Society of Jesus is spread all over the world and is serving in various fields of education, social action and pastoral ministry. Saint Ignatius founded the religious order known as Society of Jesus the largest male religious order in the Catholic Church. The members are also called as the Jesuits. They work as pastors, teachers, chaplains, doctors, lawyers and astronomers, social act activists, psychologists, spiritual masters and many other roles in the church and society at large. In their varied ministries, they care for the whole person, body, mind and soul. And especially in education ministries, they seek to nurture men and women for others. The Jesuits are engaged in many apostolic ministries and works and are present in 112 countries. They belong to approximately 80 provinces, but the order has a universal character that transcends. They are called on to go anywhere across the geographical and cultural frontiers where there is need of working with Christ for the greater glory of God. Jesuits work in education, research and cultural pursuits. Several universities were established around the world. With their friends and partners, they also reach out to a broadly diverse world because that's where God is. Saint Francis Xavier, Jose di Anchieta, Alessandro Valignano, Matteo Ricci, Saint Peter Claver, Pierre John Desmet, Pedro Arupe, Ignacio Ella Curia are some of the prominent Jesuits around the world who took Jesuit work and mission to greater heights. Many Jesuits like Teya de Sadin, Father Ignasi Muttu, Father Richard de Souza have contributed greatly to the scientific discoveries and many more have been fighting for justice and safeguarding human rights. Father Stan Swami is one among them for recent memory. Father Jerome de Souza was an Indian Jesuit priest who was one of the members of drafting committee who designed the Indian Constitution. The present Pope of the Catholic Church, Pope Francis, also belongs 
to the same society. At present, in Andhra, Jesuits are involved in educational institutions like Andhra Loyola Institutions Vijayawada, Loyola Academy Secunderabad, Loyola Polytechnic and Degree College Pulivendula, St. Patrick's High School Secunderabad, Loyola Public School Guntu, etc. They also work in social apostolates like the Tribal and Dalit Apostolate, Kedipeta, Adilabad and Darsi Ministries, Cultural Ministry like Kaladarshini, Paris Ministry, Street Children Work, Youth Empowerment, ICAF, SJ, etc. Spiritual Ministries and other ministries are some of their works to mention. Jesuits always strive to be faithful to their founder by seeking Majis in all their undertakings, never forgetting the motto of AMDG, all for greater glory of God. Thanks a billion, dear brothers, for the soul-stirring performance with your prodigious talent. St. Ignatius says, he who is not getting better is getting worse. I am delighted to call upon Reverend Father Balashevri, Rector, Loyola Institutions, to give us the message on this occasion. Dear Reverend Fathers of my Jesuit community, respected teaching and non-teaching staff, of all the institutions on the campus, respected alumni, retired staff, our well-wishers, and my dear students, a very good morning and a very happy feast of St. Ignatius of Loyola, the founder of the congregation called Society of Jesus, which has been serving people all over the world in various fields like education, social, pastoral, spiritual, etc. The Loyola institutions in which we are all working and studying are run by this congregation, Society of Jesus. As we are celebrating today the feast of the founder of this society, St. Ignatius of Loyola, it is proper that we know at least a bit about him and be inspired by his life and commitment. St. Ignatius Loyola was born in 1491, one of 13 children of a family of minor nobility in northern Spain. As a young man, Ignatius Loyola was inflamed by the ideals of courtly love and knighthood and dreamt of doing great deeds. He writes in his autobiography, up to the age of 26, he was a man given to the follies of the world and what he enjoyed most was exercise with arms, having a great foolish desire to win fame. He found himself in the month of May 1521 as an officer defending the fortress of the town of Pamplona against the French, who claimed the territory as their own against Spain. The Spaniards were terribly outnumbered and the commander of the Spanish forces wanted to surrender, but Ignatius convinced him to fight on for the honor of Spain, if not for victory. During the battle, a cannonball struck Ignatius, wounding one leg and breaking the other. Because they admired the, his courage, the French soldiers carried him back to recuperate at his home, 
the castle of Loyola rather than to their prison. During the long weeks of his recuperation, he was extremely bored and asked for some romantic novels to pass time. Luckily, there were none in the castle of Loyola, but there was a copy of The Life of Christ and a book on the saints. Desperate, Ignatius began to read them. The more he read, the more he considered the exploits of the saints worth imitating. However, at the same time, he continued to have daydreams of fame and glory along with fantasies of winning the love of a certain noble lady of the court. He noticed, however, that after reading and thinking of the saints and Christ, he was at peace and satisfied. Yet, when he finished his long daydreams of his noble lady, he would feel restless and unsatisfied. Not only was this experience the beginning of his conversion, it was also the beginning of spiritual discernment or discernment of spirits, which is associated with Ignatius and described in his spiritual exercises. Eventually, completely converted from his old desires and plan of romance and worldly conquests and recovered from his wounds. Enough to travel, he left the castle in March of 1522. This conversion eventually leads him through many deeper experiences of God and God's special call to serve him and the humanity. Consequently, Ignatius founded the Society of Jesus, which renders various services to the humanity through educational institutions like ours, through social service centers and various spiritual and pastoral care centers, etc. At this moment, my dear friends, I would like to inform you all that from May 2021 until July 2022, the Society of Jesus celebrates an Ignatian year marking and commemorating the 500th anniversary of the conversion of St. Ignatius. Why do we need to celebrate his conversion? It is because of his conversion we are all here today, as you have just now heard about his conversion history and the great consequence that followed. His conversion reveals to us certain important points or lessons for our life. Pope Francis spoke about how God's plans for individuals are greater than the plans they have for themselves, using St. Ignatius as an example, saying, that cannonball meant that Ignatius failed in the dreams he had for his life, but God had a bigger dream for him. God's dream for Ignatius was not about Ignatius. It was about helping souls. It was a dream of redemption, a dream of going out into the world accompanied by Jesus the humble and poor. The Ignatian year is a call to allow the Lord 
to work on our conversion, said Father Arturo Sosa S.J., Superior General of the Society of Jesus. Personal conversions, not always religious, take place when an individual changes, not just his thinking, but his whole value system. Such changes usually come about gradually as one progressively jettisons the habits of the past and embraces a new framework of thought and action. This is what we need today, the conversion of heart, conversion to new way of thinking, conversion to new way of doing, new way of giving, everything ultimately for the greater glory of God and for the greater good of the humanity. So, the Ignatian year presents an opportunity for all of us belonging to the Loyola family and invites each one of us to go from profession to purpose to make a deeper reflection on our talents, our passions, and the world's greatest needs as we journey together searching for meaning in our lives and giving meaning to the lives of the others. May Saint Ignatius intercede for us. Once again, I wish you all a very happy feast and God's choicest blessings on you all. Take care and stay safe. Thank you. Dear Father Balashevri, our sincere gratitude for your rousing message that calls us to imbibe the spirit of magis and be the agents of change wherever we are and whatever we do. St. Ignatius says, as far as possible, give no foothold to sloth, the source of all evils. With great enthusiasm, our students would like to sing a song with uplifting words fitting to today's occasion. Che che kalupukoni a 
Thanks a ton for your wonderful rendering of the song. It is indeed fantabulous. St. Ignatius says, The man to whom our Lord has been liberal ought not to be stingy. It's a great joy, and I deem it my privilege to introduce the chief guest of today's feast day celebration, Sri M. V. Srinivas Garu, CEO Radha Madhava Toyota, who gratefully acknowledges the gifts of God and gives to others cheerfully. He is a successful businessman who has a keen eye for quality, development, and growth. He is also deeply spiritual, philosophical, and humane. He has a large heart for the poor and needy. We are very proud to say that he is our illustrious alumnus. Dear sir, we are eagerly awaiting for your words on this special day. Hello friends, namaste. I am Mimi Srinivas, an old student of Antaragala College, Vijayawada. I studied here between the years 1978-1980. I was in the MPC group and in those days it was very difficult to get an entry into this great institute. And during that time, our rector was uh, Father Garden, our principal was uh, Father Francis and our vice principal was Father Takamara. And we had great lecturers like uh, Sri Avi Kameshwara Garu, Sivanarayan Garu, Rambab Garu, you name anybody, they were all stalwarts in teaching. In fact, if we are somebody today, we would not have been but for their great nurturing of ours. We are always grateful to the management, to the human service of uh, all our uh, staff and also our fathers, brothers who have been really doing a great job to this society in these parts of the world. Uh, a little bit about me, I am Emily Srinivas once again. I am a director and CEO of Mitra Group of Companies. We are a group with 28 companies, about 1800 crores turnover with 2700 people working in our teams. My learnings ever since I was a child have been really great. I am helped by my childhood. I am born to parents who were very spiritual. Uh, as a result of it, I studied my kindergarten to 
my 10th standard in Ramakrishna mission. I learned great values, how to respect people from there. Then when I came to Loyola College, it was enhancement, enrichment of all the qualities that I could get from Ramakrishna mission. At Loyola College, to get an entry, it was very difficult. My roll number was RMY81 in those days, between 1978-80. You can understand, 81 means I am the 81st candidate to be admitted into this college. I literally had to, my parents literally had to re request again and again Father Francis to give me an entry. Such is the greatness of this institute. Friends, today we are going to talk about St. Ignatius Loyola, after whom this college was named after. Why do we want to talk about Father Ignatius Loyola exactly 500 years after he got converted into Christianity? In this world, there are many great souls that will be coming time and again and leaving us. But when they leave, they leave their footprints for millions and billions of people to follow. Why do we require great souls? The answer is very simple. In this death and birth cycle, we continue to struggle to lead a life on this planet Earth. We forget the purpose of our life. The purpose of life is self-realization. To realize what you are is the only thing that we need to do in this world. But we leave that and do the rest of the things. And God understands our approach towards the materialistic world and then creates special people. Are they special? Of course they are special. If they are not special, then we will not be celebrating days like this. You take from Adi Shankaracharya to Jesus to great souls like Saint Ignatius Loyola, our own Mother Teresa and a host of administrators in this college right from the people I knew, Father Garden to Francis, Father Francis to Father Takamad. God had definitely had a touch of his own. They wanted, he wanted them to be special so that they enrich the society, they lead the society towards the right path to become better human beings and realize that they themselves are none other than the great creator themselves. This is the purpose of life. And that is what exactly St. Ignatius Loyola did during his lifetime. Friends, today we are celebrating 500 years of St. Ignatius Loyola's conversion. Let's understand a little bit about his childhood. He was born on 23rd October 1491. His, child was, uh, his childhood was as normal as ours. Perhaps he was more extravagant. He used to enjoy a lot. At the age of 17, he joined the army and uh, he fought a battle. And in the battle, he was gravely injured. He was injured to such an extent that he broke his leg. And the leg had to undergo several operations, several surgeries to set it right. You know, in those days, there were no metal rods, you know, that we have today. In the end, after several operations, surgeons, uh, surgeries, the leg was set right. But one leg was shorter than the other one. So he was limping all through his life. And during these uh, days of his suffering on the hospital bed, his sister-in-law helped him a lot. She brought several books on religious texts. She used to read him, read for him. He used to listen to them, understand the purpose of life, how we become servant of God, how we serve the society, what is the purpose of life. Though he suffered during the battle, those suffering days really made him to understand the purpose of life. And that was the turning point of his life. And from there on, he went into a, a different journey in his life. This proves that at a time when we are in a crisis, at a time we are in a critical condition, those are the times God has a purpose you know, to put us onto a, a right path, a different path that will take us to self-realization. While uh, he was uh, on the bed, as I told you, he was learning everything. 
as his assistant was reading all the books and he took him to another plane he started dreaming he started feeling the touch of jesus and that's how he got inspired he got initiated into true christianity now that was a golden time of his life and then after recovery he went and kissed the land of the lord jesus where he was born and thus started his journey he developed several exercises spiritual exercises he used to call them right from meditation to confession to remaining silent you know these are the wonderful things that he developed during that time and he practiced them and he practiced to such an extent that several days he used to remain silent and the meditation used to continue for a minimum of 7 hours a day and thus the self realization of saint ignatius loyola the journey had begun during this journey for several years he transformed himself and in 1539 along with peter faber and francis xavier ignatius formed the society of jesus which was approved in 1540 by the pope paul iii he was chosen as the first superior general of the order and invested with the title of father general by the jesuits it was a wonderful journey that he began from there he was given the tall order of setting up the education institutes and several other tasks were given to him and he traveled to india too during this time he successfully created several education institutes created several serving organizations which became i should say you know some of the best in the world and the testimony is our own institute andhra vela college but for the inspiration of saint ignatius loyola we would not have been sitting here today the learnings from saint ignatius loyola are always great his uh, simplicity the silence the religious path the spiritual path he had taken the path he had taken to bring the down trodden in the society the importance he had given to the education in specific along with spirituality for all you know impossible to do without the touch of class without the touch of the almighty we were all fortunate that today we are celebrating on the 500th year of his conversion let us all unite in this moment celebrate this great day and i hope we all learn more about him read one of the best books written by him learn from them practice them and then we become another ignatius loyola we spread the message of the lord in this universe thus we contribute to the society and enrich the people of our nation when we enrich our nation through our good deeds from the learnings of the great souls like saint ignatius loyola when every country does it the whole globe will be peaceful when the globe is peaceful the universe will be peaceful friends i thank once again the management of andhra vela college my old students on whose behalf i am speaking today uh, i thank once again for this opportunity uh, this is uh, an extempore speech by me it's not a written one and so there might be some mistakes in whatever i have expressed and they pardon me once again thank you very much and wish you all the best for the coming years and let's unite and beat the pandemic thank you once again thank you very much for your impactful message sir shared with great warmth of love and appreciation st ignatius says if you find you have fallen do not despair even falls are an aid to well being dr sahay baskaran department of physics alc dr daiva krupa department of science and humanities elliot miss meghna student alc miss jyoti student elliot as the beneficiaries collaborators and well wishers of loyola family would now briefly 
like to express their sentiments of inspiration and gratitude. Let us now listen to them. Good morning and feast day greetings to all the revered members of Jesuit community, colleagues and my dear students and parents. Today we celebrate the feast day of St. Ignatius of Loyola and the Society of Jesus. This year 2021 is a, also a significant year because exactly 500 years back St. Ignatius of Loyola got the conversion. As we all know, Ignatius of Loyola wanted to be a great soldier and to be a hero. In 1521, exactly 500 years back, he got seriously injured in a war and was about to die. When he was recovering, the conversion took place and that has become the seed for the Society of Jesus. Ignatius of Loyola understood that the real joy and peace is not in becoming famous and occupying positions, but to serve the needy. Serving the people in need is serving God, is his understanding. This vision has inspired many of the youth of those years and they all became the members of Society of Jesus, also called as Jesuits. Today, they find God in serving the students, identifying with the poor and people affected by wars and other injustices in social structure. Over these 500 years, Jesuits have played a significant role in education. In fact, the educational model developed by Jesuits is implied all over the world during the past 500 years. All have the roots in the vision of Ignatius of Loyola and also the Jesuits. Contemporary policies of Jesuits like option for poor, prioritizing admission for the downtrodden has significant changes in lives of many and also bringing social justice in various societies all over the world. As on today, Jesuits are operating 3,897 educational institutions spreading across 96 countries. There are about 1,34,000 teachers or lecturers educating approximately 29 lakh students. In India, the Society of Jesus has found 267 schools, 58 colleges, 22 technical institutions and 16 business administration institutions with 11,500 teachers educating 3.35 lakh students belonging to every social class, community and linguistic group. The Jesuit institutions in India aim at making its own contribution towards transformation of the present day social condition so that principles of social justice, equality and opportunity, genuine freedom and respect for religious and moral values enshrined in the constitution of India may prevail and the possibility of living a fully human existence may be available to all. Dear students and colleagues, we are fortunate to be a part of this great mission. On this day, let us wish all our Jesuits a happy feast day and rededicate ourselves to continue to live according to the vision of Jesuit education. Happy feast day to all. Thank you. The most revered fathers and brothers of Jesuit fraternity and the members of Loyola family, I, Daivakrupa Nemadi, Assistant Professor of English from Andhra Loyola Institute of Engineering and Technology, extend my heartfelt wishes on the feast of St. Ignatius of Loyola, the founder of Society of Jesus. And this is a special year in which fifth centenary celebrations on the conversion of St. Ignatius of Loyola are celebrated throughout the world. On this historic moment, I deem it my great honor and privilege 
to share my views on the Jesuit fraternity and their service to humanity. Dear friends, I strongly believe that this is the chosen day by the God Almighty because it witnessed the birth of a chivalrous man who had eventually become a divine personality and a great leader. He is the man who planted a tree named Jesuit education 450 years ago and this tree has been providing the fullest opportunities to the millions of students and thousands of faculty members to grow and multiply in their professional life. Jesuits provide higher education with integral formation which involves academic excellence, spiritual growth, social commitment and value-based leadership. In my 10 long years of teaching experience working at ALEA, I have learned that accountability and transparency, leadership with human touch, integrity and honesty as the core values of life. Besides imparting education, these fathers are dedicated to the service of humanity. They consider that there is no higher religion than to serve humanity. During the COVID-19 pandemic lockdown, they have served food for many migrant workers. Food on wheels during the second lockdown filled many hungry stomachs in slums. They have also set up COVID care task force team which extended its services to many people in various ways. COVID testing facility, vaccination, medical assistance, financial assistance, providing food, provisions, isolation rooms and counselling for the depressed souls are a few to name. These Jesuit fathers are most respectable people in the world. Being very respectable people in the world, they still lead a very simple life, possessing nothing on their name. Dear friends, it needs a lot of dedication and commitment to be so humble and sacrificial. I salute all the Jesuit fathers for their selfless love and exemplary life. Dear fathers, thank you so much for being so inspirational. In fact, I am proud to be a part of this great legacy. With these words, I wish you all a very happy feast day. Thank you for giving me this golden opportunity. Honorable dignitaries, respected teaching, non-teaching staff, and all my dear friends, I wish you all a happy feast day. It gives me immense pleasure to be a part of this feast and share my thoughts. Firstly, I'll say about the man of service, the man of humanity, the person who is behind the education institutes all through the world, and the person who changed the definition of service, the great Saint Ignatius of Loyola. Before he changed his path into the service of God, he used it to be the man of vanity who wanted to be the top of the world. But as we say, each and every person's life got a turning point, his life also got a turning point, which played a vital role in changing him from the man of vanity to the man of humanity. The Pamplona War incident changed his life towards the saintly life and he believed that serving God is not just praying, it, the reality is to serve the God who is present in the people, in the humans. He used it to believe that helping the needy is the only means to show up the love for our God into actions. He spread love and mercy through his society of Jesus are known as the Jesuits. Each Jesuit is a reflection of God's love and mercy. Even in our college, we have Jesuit father who treat each and every student as their own child. Not just because we are calling them as fathers, it is because of the love and the affection which they have inherited from the Lord Almighty. During this COVID pandemic, they rendered many kinds of services to all the people who are in need. The Theo Mateas Girls Hostel was set up into the isomorph ward and the people who are in need were given the medical kits and the people who wanted the shelter were given shelter and the slum areas were also distributed with the tarpentine sheets. Moreover, the services given by a college are rendered 
all through the world through the news articles etc and all our fathers are like replica of god even when i take each step in our college i feel the blessings from god the showers of mercy the awe of god staying behind me staying as a boat to me helping me in everything whatever i do through the through our fathers as a rendering support to me and i'm immensely happy to say that i'm a loyalite i'm proud to say that i'm a loyalite and thank you one and all for giving me this opportunity good morning i'm jyoti lakshmi pursuing my second btech in the stream of computer science and engineering from andhra loyal institute of engineering and technology on this gracious occasion of the feast of saint ignatius of loyola and fifth centenary celebrations of the conversion of saint ignatius i would like to share a few words about our patron saint on this occasion i would like to share my personal experience in eliot basically i am an introvert neither do i participate in any cultural events nor do i speak up in class discussions it was hard to mingle with people and work together now i am able to confront the group of people i was mc for some of a college events and took part in many cultural events i have given seminars and presentations in my class it was all because of the encouragement and appreciation which i got from eliot this stimulated my confidence in life our ethics and values are also well built by jesuits jesuits ultimate goal is to motivate students to reach out to the needs of today's and tomorrow's global society and in this process reaching out to others that is preparing men and women for others we students are inspired by the good works of our jesuits for example during a national lockdown many of the jesuit fathers and students reached out to the poorest of the poor and wiped out their tears they distributed quality food to those people abandoned and neglected on roadside they also helped people living in huts by giving tarpaulin sheets to protect their huts from rainy season all these were done with love towards others i am proud to be a part of this love the love which had to lead saint ignatius of loyola to care for the society that love which leads these jesuit fathers students and collaborators to bring smile and hope to everyone all of these wonderful deeds are done for the greater glory of god i wish you all a very happy feast of saint ignatius of loyola may all our works and deeds be for the greater glory of god thank you thanks a trillion to you dear dr sahay baskun dr daiva krupa meghna and jyothi for your striking impressive and moving words we are proud of you indeed st ignatius says finding god in all things and all things in god our jesuit fathers on andhra loyola campus being true to their founder st ignatius and his teachings will now pledge their loyalty of service and love through this song Stronger, stronger as fighting lost stronger 
heaven, purer and purer, to make heaven surer, with crosses and trials and many denials will stop. But to die true, loyal to a king who reigns on high. Lead us on gallantly, ever on gallantly, need thy banner to fight for the church and its right. All for God's own greater glory is our cry. Battle cry, not for gain nor in vain is our strife in this life, but for God who is our King, call our hearts to Him we pray. Growing stronger and stronger as fighting lasts longer and purer and purer to make heaven sure with crosses and trials and many denials will stop. But to die true, loyal to a king who reigns on high. He gracious lead us on, till we die. Dear fathers, what a joy for us to see you together on one stage. Your rich and vibrant voices of power have enthralled all of us. We dearly cherish this moment. Thanks a zillion for being so sportive and inspiring. St. Ignatius says, Whatever you are doing, that which makes you feel the most alive, that is where God is. Let us now witness the gathering of different representatives cutting the cake as a sign of sharing the joy of today's feast. Happy feast day, la 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 la. Happy feast day, la 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 la. la. Happy feast day, la 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 la. We wish you a happy feast day. May God bless you, la 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 la. May God bless you, la 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 la. la. May God bless you, la 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 la. We wish you a happy feast day. We wish you a happy feast Wish you all a very happy feast of St. Ignatius of Loyola. Wish you happy all feast day. Feast day. Thank you very much for your feast day wishes and greetings. We wish that all of you watching may have something special and different to celebrate at your own places and homes. St. Ignatius says, teach us to give and not to count the cost. May I invite Reverend Father Dr. Melchior, the treasurer and the vice principal degree to propose the vote of thanks. Respected fathers and our today's chief guest, Mr. M. V. Srinivasagaru, CEO Radha Madhav Toyota and our illustrious alumni of Andhra Loyola College, respected members of the staff of our Andhra Loyola institutions, our beloved students of our Andhra Loyola institutions, our benefactors, well-wishers, a warm Good morning to all of you. As I propose my sincere gratitude to all of you, I wish you a happy feast of our patron saint, St. Ignatius of Loyola.
as most of us are aware of that this year the Society of Jesus celebrates the feast or the event of Ignatius conversion of 500 years what we the Jesuits are calling it as a cannonball experience and today as we celebrate the feast of Saint Ignatius of Loyola our patron saint as I propose the word of thanks first and foremost I want to thank Almighty God for his providence and for his graciousness towards us he has been favorable to us and he has been guiding all of us especially the Jesuits and their associates thank you God I also thank our today's chief guest Mr. M. V. Srinivasgaru, CEO, Radha Mother Toyota, and our illustrious alumni for accepting our invitation and for coming over here conveying his feast day wishes to all of us and sharing his own experience with all of us. Thank you, sir, for being with us. And we are proud of you for you are our illustrious alumnus. My sincere thanks to our beloved Father Rector for giving the feast day message to all of us and conveying his feast day wishes to us. It is under your leadership that today we could make this program an effective and successful and fruitful one and a meaningful one. Thank you Father Rector for being with us and for your encouragement and also for blessing all of us. I also thank the Jesuit community members for coming forward and singing a melodious song, Noble Knight, Leader of a Bravery, which describes how each Jesuit should be there in his life and in his mission and how he has to commit himself in the mission of the Lord. Thank you, fathers, for your melodious singing. I also thank our Sanjeevan community and Father Superior, Reverend Father Kiran Kumar and the scholastics. The skit that you have witnessed today on the conversion of St. Ignatius of Loyola is enacted by our scholastics and also a melodious song sung by our scholastics. Thank you, dear fathers and dear scholastics. I also thank our staff of both the institutions, Dr. Sahaya Baskaran from Andhra Loyola College and Mrs. Daiva Krupa from Andhra Loyola Institute of Engineering and Technology for sharing their messages and their experiences. I also thank our students, Ms. Megana of, from Andhra Loyola College and Ms. Jyoti from Andhra Loyola Institute of Engineering and Technology for sharing their experiences in our institutions and how they have been enhanced in their life through our Loyola institutions. I also specially thank the staff members and students of our visual communication department. It is because of you we could make this program a grand success. It is because you have extended your technical support to all of us. I would like to mention each one of you your name here, namely Mr. Elisha, Mr. Hemant, Mr. Charan, Mr. Francis and our beloved students who have extended their technical support, M. Akil Kumar, J. John, S. Jayant Chaudeshwar Rao, Y. Veeraswamy, R. Manohar Nayak, K. Azim, Z. Kiran. Dear students, you have sacrificed your time and you have spent here for many hours to make this program a grand success. Thank you dear staff members of Visual Communication Department 
and thank you dear students of visual communication department for your selfless service and for your selfless help. I also thank our own Jesuit fathers, the members of the feast day committee, fathers Balakumar, Ravindra, Rayapa, Kiran and Brito headed by Father Melchior and that is me. Thank you fathers for your meticulous plan and for your your main services and your help and your availability always. As we celebrate today the feast of our St. Ignatius of Loyola, I once again wish all of you a happy feast of St. Ignatius of Loyola. We may imbibe the spirit of St. Ignatius of Loyola, the Magis, ever to grow more and more. Happy feast day to all of us. Thank you. May God bless all of us.